name is Tony Silva and I am here with David Vishnia, who is the designer of the Inca incubator. It is the incubator that I use in my home and it is also used in many conservation programs. In the case of the Puerto Rican parrot, it is the incubator that they use to hatch the eggs. What is exceptional about the Puerto Rican parrot is that its population was down to about a dozen individuals. It was at one point the most endangered Amazon parrot. They obviously used it, and we use it for a simple reason. People often say, well, um, you know, I, I've got a big unit and it works, it works good. I always say that, that in my experience, this is really the ultimate incubator. I've used all of them. I've used every model available. And uh, we now use this exclusively because of the results that we get. And it has many, many advantages. David, when you develop the incubators, what was your goal? I look for simplicity. Look, to design something very complicated is very easy, but to build it very simple, it's uh, very hard. So the idea was that it's easy to build something very complex, very large, very massive, but it's difficult to condense all of the good points in a small unit that is efficient. Keep it simple um, and easy to operate and maintain. Um, I always, people always say that, well, you know, all incubators are the same. And my response is they are not the same. First, you base this, the design on, on real research on exotic birds. This isn't poultry research uh, and data that was applied towards incubation you relied on actual exotic bird research and you developed a very unique process in a very unique incubator that has, in, in my opinion, uh, significant advantages. It, it has very low power consumption. It consumes 50 watts. The larger unit is 80 watts. It can hold 25 Amazon uh, sized uh, African gray eggs, um, about 20 macaw eggs, that can hold obviously significantly more, the larger unit. For us, power consumption is very important because we live in South Florida, where we are subjected to tropical storms and to hurricanes. In, in Europe, they are subjected to, to storms. In uh, India, it's monsoon. Everybody is affected, has, has electricity affected by, by uh, climate, and you lose power. And when you lose power, it affects your incubator. We can operate. Uh, the Inca 100 for seven to eight hours off a battery pack. It's comparable to 30 minutes in the in the larger units that we used to use before. To me, that's very important because I know that my incubator will operate while we have no power. The unit is very easy to clean. It's easy to maintain. You don't have to be changing filters. You don't have to be changing parts to keep it running so that I can go ahead and rather than devote a lot of time to the incubation, I can apply it towards my birds. In the morning, I check my eggs, I make sure that everything is well, any infertile eggs are removed, and then I don't, I don't play with it anymore. I, wore, I forget about it. I can devote that time to my birds. People say that, well, it's not cheap. I say that um, you can uh, save one egg that you would have lost and it pays for the unit, Every other egg that follows that would not have hatched is a huge bonus. And you have the best incubator on the market. You can have a big fancy unit that looks great, but it's analogous to buying a kit car and putting a Mercedes uh, emblem on it. You're fooling yourself. You want the best. Get the best and use it. So I thank you for the design. I think uh, you've done a fantastic job. Thank you very much.